Hey guys, um, this is TMB Designs or Trevina with TMB Designs. Like you've never seen her before. Like this is this is real talk. This is real time. This is real life. Um, uh, yeah, you see me in a baseball cap and a t-shirt, no makeup. It's just it's really real. Um, I'm I'm finna have a finna have, but that's just I'm country, so that's what it is. Um, I'm about to give you a real transparent moment. I know sometimes with YouTube, um, creators kind of, um, how do I want to say this without sounding a certain kind of way, they um, expose you to um, their entire life. They, 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 they allow you to come in as family members to their whole you know, life experience. And and that's perfectly fine. And I enjoy a lot of those creators um, content. However, I, I was not one of those type of creators. Um, and I don't have anything wrong. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that, being that type of creator. I just was not one of those. But in attempt to not revert to what my normal um, MO is, during life crises, I, I tend to um, shut down when when something something tragic or traumatic happens in my life. I, I like to kind of withdraw myself from sometimes everything and everybody. You know, I'll still function on the day-to-day -day work type of thing, but in my mind and in my spirit, I have regressed. And I, you know, put myself in a place of hibernation and attempts to protect myself, guard my heart, guard my mind, that type of thing. But this time around, um, I'm going to do different. Um, I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to push through and keep continue to create and continue to do what it is that I do um, in terms of, of a creator and just have a moment here that I never um, anticipated having. Um, as creators, you know, we, we type of tend to have a routine schedule of how things will be on our channel, like a schedule of, of events or type of videos or collaborations or whatever it is that we're doing, right? So, um, let me step back a little bit. Um, I had a plan, as you know, most of us do, as to how things were going to go, what videos were going to be put out, created, yada, yada, yada. Well, in the process of that, life happened. Life hit my family with a blow that I was not ready for. I'm still not ready for, but I'm again, this is an attempt to to push through. This is an attempt to to not do what I normally do. So I'm I'm fighting against my my natural self to do what I feel is better for me in this case. So um in this moment I need you more than you need any content I can bring you. So um we suffered a loss in our family. And death is never, it's never easy. It's never easy. Um, and, um, you know, everybody handles it differently. And I don't, to me, I, I, I am one that I, I do death. So I like to think I do death well because I understand that, you know, when the Ecclesiastes says that to everything there is a time. Time to live, time to be born, the time to die, time to laugh, mourn, all of that. I, I have lived by that. So when I've lost many family members, you know, I, I rested in that to everything there is a time. Whether we feel like it's their time or not, it's God's time. And so that has always been my place of comfort. It has always been the thing that kept me moving forward and accepting the fate of their fate, so to speak. So, um, but in this case, it's different. Um, I don't know if any of you, of my, my family, my TMB family, have ever suffered a traumatic loss. And by traumatic, I mean something other than, um, let me just kind of sit up and get comfortable here. Other than the normal, um, hold on guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> other than the normal death that you would think of in terms of death. I mean, you know, someone's elderly, you know, they transition of old age or if there's a car accident, you know, not that we enjoy that or want that, but that would be a justified, you know, cause of death, so to speak. Um, an accident, just something to along that line. But when, 
when a family member or someone has been violently taken or you know their life has been cut off very unexpectedly or very how do you say unnecessary is just unnecessary i don't know any if any death is necessary in this in that sense but um to make a long story short my my, my aunt we we lost my aunt she was one of the major arcs of our family and um she was taken from us on tuesday um may 14th her body was found by her husband um that afternoon just very very traumatic and i have to paint a picture of my aunt she's 75 year old fireball she had just turned 75 in april and um just loved life and loved her family and just she was the ideal role model auntie mom you know grandma she was just she was an amazing woman and so to have her life taken from her she was not sick you know in the sense of being bedridden or not being able to walk she could walk talk move here you name it she could do it she traveled she enjoyed like i said enjoyed family and everything so she was she was violently um, taken from us she was stabbed to death and the thought of someone you love or the thought of anyone being um murdered is just traumatic and this has been a very tumultuous year month i'll say to say the least and 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 that has just been the the heaviest ordeal that i've had to ever deal with as a as a woman as an aunt as a niece as a anybody i just um excuse the noise they're they're picking up trash today so um i just wanted to be transparent you guys this hurts it, it hurts me and i'm trying to process it with and, and and fight the spirit of anger and fight you know the rage that want to go and do you know that's just natural because we're, we're, we're human first we're natural first so the natural me wants somebody to pay for this. You know what I mean? Somebody has to be responsible for this. So, cause this is like, who would hurt a 75 year old little, I mean, just full of life. I loved her and I'm going to miss her as all of my family are going to miss her terribly. It has hit our family like a ton of bricks. And I tend to be one of the anchors in my family. I'm, I'm that girl that that auntie, that sister, that mom, that daughter, that, you know, hey, Trevina, we need this, we need that. And I'm the one that kind of, you know, makes things happen. Or I'm the one that kind of pull things together. It, but this is one of those times, you know, when when the strong needs strength, you know what I mean? And I, I just, I need, I need an outlet. And I, I'm just using you guys as an outlet right now. So please keep my family, the Duncan family, the Sanders family, the Oliver family in your in your prayers. We um we lost a good one. And so with that, um, I, I said all that to say this. This is probably gonna be a long video. This will be an insert to actually what is supposed to be happening right now. But I was just so frazzled because I'm supposed to be in hair and makeup, you know, about to bring you a shopping haul. But life just I just woke up this morning and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Everything is already laid out. If you've ever seen anybody do a shopping haul, it takes a little bit of process to get things set up to do the the recording. And I just, I just, I just couldn't. I just wasn't feeling hair and makeup. You know, I'm feeling what I'm feeling right now. So I'm gonna bring it to you, just like I am. You know, I feel like y'all love me. Y'all, many of you have expressed how much you appreciate me. You appreciate, you know, the content I bring. You know that I never come half stepping. So. To see me like this, you got to know, you know, there's a reason. So I am going to flip now to the Dollar Tree portion of the haul. Okay. You guys, you know, I'm a crafter and I'm going to um, be adding more videos. I'm going to create a, a wedding playlist because people have asked about the videos and wanting to see different little things as far as wedding DIYs or asking me questions. And so I am going to, I started a series for my wedding, but I'm going to add to that some things. And so this, you guys are some um, styrofoam little rings. They are nine by eight by um, 24 centimeters inch little rings and i'm going to do a couple of things with these for 
upcoming events. So I picked uh, probably about a dozen of these, I believe, because I got a lot of those, a lot of projects to do with those. Okay. And I've been picking up a lot of these red. I think I've hauled these a couple of times, these red beads. Now, I used them in one event thinking that some of them will possibly float, but they don't. They sink down to the bottom of your base. Base, if you put them in like a um, like water or something, they're just going to sink to the bottom. But I have another project coming up later in the year. And so I'm going to do another little DIY with that. And I will bring that to you guys. Okay. Also, I have... I picked these up because they, they're, this is the glass placed in the Dollar Tree. I picked up several of these. I actually just went online and went ahead and ordered a couple of cases of them because I know that I'm going to need a substantial amount, not for serving food, but for some of the DIY. They act as great basis for um, different things, and I'll show you how to use these on some of your crafting projects coming up really soon. Okay. And these, I'm sorry for reaching over. You guys, I was so in love. How gorgeous is that? It is a um, candle votive. It umbrays from the chrome up into the peacock color. Perfect for my family room area. This will be great for an event as well, but I just picked up, I actually picked up three and I broke one, um, taking it out of the bag, but these will still serve its purpose for me in the family room. So I picked up a couple of those. What else from the dollar tree? Oh, how could I forget? I picked up some um, summertime is coming so I've been working on a couple of summer projects I have partnered with a linen company so I'm excited to bring you guys some information about that coming up soon and so for those particular videos I picked up some items look at these beautiful vibrant pink flowers I have I think they're roses and the they, they, I can never say that those I can't ever say their name, but I picked up several of these, you guys, to create some beautiful, vibrant um, summer centerpieces, and I also picked up some beautiful orange ones, and these are two of the roses. I think these are all roses, but I'm just gonna, can you see, that's so pretty together. That's a beautiful, vibrant summertime um, tablescape for that, and um, what else? I got a few more things from the Dollar Tree. I picked up some hula hoops not for hula hooping of course honey my hula hoop days are over but i'm going to be doing some diys i know you guys have seen if you're in the event planning world you already probably know where i'm going with this but i picked up several sizes because i have a couple of projects that i'm going to be working on for these and they were at the dollar tree for a dollar we're gonna give you a nice little um diy video with those i think i picked up 20 of them but I just grabbed, I just had a handful of them right here. So that was that from the Dollar Tree. There's a, you guys, if you, it's a lot of stuff right here. So I'm trying to maneuver through everything and not have a lot of noise rattling and all that good stuff, but sometimes it happens. Okay, so then we're gonna go to, we're going to next, we're going to next. We're gonna go to Burlington. Okay, so I, I have this, I, I, I have this one, right? So I picked this up from Burlington. I think I hauled one for you guys a while ago. Well, I just happened to, I say Burlington, but I just happened to be in um, Home Goods and they had the identical one. I, when I saw this at Burlington, I wanted to, but they didn't have to, but I purchased it because I just think it's just so unique, such a beautiful art piece to style in your room. So, and they had it in other colors, but of course this, I call it peacock sometimes, teal sometimes, but this color caught my eye. And then when I was in Home Goods the other day, they actually had the exact same one, exact same price and uh, manufacturer. So I was excited to find the mate to that. They were $9.99. Okay. And so, where else am I going? I got these, you guys. You probably, but yeah, by the time this video comes out, you will have already seen these items. But these are some beautiful coffee mugs. I wanted to kind of add to my gold collection. And so, but I wanted to, I knew that I wanted to mix and match with the golds. And these are just absolutely stunning with the gold handle, the gold base, and then the polka dots. But it's gonna be coupled with a white and gold pattern dish set, stunning. So I got a set of four of those. And then this one, not with the set, but the same, it's so me. 
be a gold digger. And for those that don't know, um, in addition to being an event planner, a hairstylist, a platform artist for a hair company, and what else do I do? Um, I don't know, something else. But to add to that list, I have a women's ministry called P31. And our, our um, motto in P31 is gold digging for the year when we always do our vision boards. Gold digging, like G, you see that, G-O-A-L. That's always our, um, our thing. So I saw this cup and I thought, how fabulous would that be? So I got that, okay? And I said we were gonna do one store, but I think I'm kinda all over the place. Cause I want to say, this is going to be burdensome. So I want to save that for last. I like to take my big old pieces for last. So let's see what, oh, I forgot some Dollar Tree stuff, you guys. Let's, let's go in this box of goodies and see what we have. This is just kind of random, but just some cutting boards, you know. And I got to go along with that plate. That's what it was. To go along with that plate, you guys, I got, let me show you to kind of create the base or foundation. I'm gonna show you how to just create nice bases or foundation for any type of centerpiece um, that you're doing. So those, I think I picked up a dozen of those. Um, I got these for my kiddos, my little nieces and nephews when they come over. So if they want a beverage or something to drink, I can just pop it in here. They don't have to worry about them spilling you know, stuff all over the house or whatever. So I got that for them. I always get these, you guys, and I think I talk about them at every Dollar Tree haul. These are probably gonna be on there. because They are the um, 18 count guest house from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. They're just a solid white, clean plastic. Works just fine every time. And then this is not from the Dollar Tree. I think this is from Dollar General, but just the Rubbermaid. I'm trying to work, do the little meal prepping thing. So I've been collecting um, several sets of these for like better organization and helping us meal prep and do healthier eating choices. Um, for the love and I, so got a set of couple sets of those, um, and I now I think I have gotten all of the Dollar Tree stuff. Okay, so then we're gonna move over to Walmart, and um, I don't want to just dedicate this whole thing to event planning because it's both event planning and home stuff, but uh, most of this is for event planning stuff. And so I just kind of want to give some tips. Now, I know a lot of you guys have inboxed me and asked me where I get a lot of things as far as party planning and event planning and stuff like that. And so a lot of times you'll hear us talk about Dollar Tree, but in some cases, you guys, you can shop other places and find even better deals than the Dollar Tree. And let me show you what I mean by that. Now here, I'm working on a, uh, a graduation party and just the, the paper plates. Um, they are 20 there's a 20 count for a dollar at dollar i think it's a dollar 20 count at dollar tree but here at walmart it's 96 cents so it, even though it's not a big difference but it, it's less than a dollar so just showing you how if they don't have your color at the dollar tree which dollar tree is going to have a good variety of the colors that they have but they're limited on the colors that they have whereas the walmart has like you name it, they have the color. They have the metallic gold, silver, white, black, um, and a plethora of other colors. So don't sleep on Walmart when it comes to your party planning. If you're into the balloon style, and they also have a nice variety of balloons at a really good price. I think there's 20, 20, 20 to 25 balloons in the pack for like 97 cents. So just always, you know, you and it's good to have more than one vendor um, in your event planning arsenal because with your go-to store may be out of something. So you always need to have a good backup plan. And so Walmart is kind of my, my goal. I'll do Dollar Tree if I'm need to run in and run out or whatever, but Walmart is kind of that other place that I, that I tend to go to as well for event planning stuff. And then speaking of that, um, you guys have been really, really, um, inquiring about tablescapes. I love doing tablescapes. If you've watched my channel for any portion of limited time, you know that your girl loves doing some tablescapes. But many have said they look so expensive and how much money that they need. So you want to know the cost of things. I'm sorry for being down, but you have inquired. And so I heard you. I'm listening and I'm going to deliver. And by deliver, I mean I'm going to show you guys how to create some very, very budget friendly tablescapes. Okay. And I went out and purchased. Um, some items to not just tell you how, but I'm gonna show you how. Now this is a set from Walmart. 
and I know you guys have seen some of the videos some of the my YouTube sisters have recorded some of the videos they have the um, full set um, collections there's pink white grays and like a robin's egg blue even a couple of patterns of dishes at Walmart their mainstay their glass dishes for 88 cents right amazing deal so that's like almost 20 cents less than what you get the dishes from at the Dollar Tree. However, I found this, this is the exact same set. I found it as a set of 12 where the bowls, saucers, and plates come together and it was 9.88. So that kind of broke it down to like 80 cents per item. So it even saved a little bit more. But if you want to mix and match, you certainly can do that with all of the other patterns. And I still may go back and do that, but I wanted to show you guys how to create a wonderful, classy tablescape for a little of nothing. So that is what I wanted to um, show you guys. I purchased that those dishes for that. So look forward for that video. And while I was in there, and this is all y'all fault, okay? Not that I need any more dishes, but because y'all asked for some budget friendly tablescapes, I'm in there looking for some white dishes. And lo and behold, look what your girl showed up on. Walmart is delivering on the dishes, okay? Look, absolutely. Stunning. This is the um, eight inch um, salad plate. I always call them sauces, but it's a salad plate, right? Absolutely beautiful. Look at the iridescent, rainbow, peacocky, whatever vibe you feeling, at, feel it. It's just gorgeous, okay? Not only do they have the dish set, they have the salad plate, they have the dinner plate, they have the bowl. But you guys, check this out. They even have the silverware. Yes. So I got, well, I started my collection on these because I wanted to bring them home and play around with some pieces that I already have and see if they all coordinate. I have, I was a kid in the candy store, so I will be bringing you a fabulous tablescape. I don't know if this will be Father's Day, Christmas, fall, I don't know when it's gonna be, but trust me, it's gonna be. Let me just give you just a little glimpse of what, how this is gonna go down, okay? Picture it table setting beautiful teal plate charger I'm gonna go back and add to the collection but just look honey just that alone is gorgeous but you know your girl is gonna add more right even if I add like a beautiful gold plate to that just mm, look, 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 look. I can't even show you guys because I purchased some glasses maybe um, two years ago that complement these so perfectly, but yes, this is, yeah, this is my new fave. So I'm gonna be adding to that collection. But again, it's y'all fault because I wasn't even looking for none of dishes. I was in there minding my own business trying to find the little white dishes to bring my people what they asked for. And those those places was like, Trevina, you need us home, girl. So I, I brought them home. So thank you guys. So now let's move on. After that, where did I go? Okay, so kind of, kind of, I'm seeing that this is gonna be a little lengthy, but again, I wanted to give you guys what I had, okay? So I was at Hobby Lobby. I love these beads, you guys. If, you, if you're doing an event or you have, if you're doing a centerpiece at home and you want a little extra something in the base of your, um, of your vases, your vases, however you want to call it, these are gorgeous. They come in a variety of colors. I have blue, I have the, aqua blue I have purple and now I'm getting the red because again I'm working on another event later in the year and I want some beautiful little beading just floating around in there and I picked these up at Hobby Lobby using my 40% off coupon and with these a little goes a long way so I absolutely love those and then what else do I have you guys oh let me let me let me let me tell you okay so I had a dilemma I think I may have mentioned it on one of my cleaning videos cleaning up I bumped my table and I broke my vase from our wedding the sand ceremony and it houses the sand and all that good stuff well in my mind and this may not make any sense at all but I felt like if I touched the sand that it wasn't sacred anymore because this was the actual sand that my husband my daughters and I we all poured out a little portion of sand so I, I could easily sweep it up throw it away and just get new sand but it's not the same so Literally, I, that happened weeks ago, but that sand is still sitting in my room where it's where it spilled at because I'm going to get something, sweep it in there, sift the broken glass out because I want to use that same sand. My husband thinks I'm crazy, but I just refused to touch it until I found something. 
compatible to place it in. So I was in um, Home Goods and I found this. It's a uh, apothecary job was $9.99. So but before I add it in it, I'm gonna design or style it the same way I styled the other glass and um, before I before I add the sand into it. So yeah, I just I was devastated, y'all. I, I just felt like I had broken a sacred moment. <laughs> in my life and my husband was like baby it's just saying but it, it was sentimental to me and all of my little wedding sentimental stuff was up by my bed and I was just I could have hung not hung myself but I could have pinched myself for doing that so um yeah I found that so I'm gonna restore revive our sand serum our sand from the ceremony and then the last thing this is oh that was some home goods the last thing from home goods you guys was these babies how gorgeous now I have a set of martini glasses that were part of a Christmas gift and the silver, but I knew that I wanted to add a little bit to my gold collection. And when I saw these in um, Home Goods for $4.99 versus the $12.99 that similar styles are in Pure One and our Faithful Z Gallery, I jumped on it. So I got a set of four of those. Not that I'm liking Home Goods or Z Gallery, I still shop at both, but anywhere I can save a dime, I'm gonna say done, okay? So winding on down, I mentioned that I have partnered with a with an um, event planning company and they were so gracious to send me some products and I wanted to just kind of show you guys what it is that they sent me or some of the things they sent me so that I can bring you a fabulous table, summer wedding tablescape is what I'm going to be doing, okay? Have a couple of ideas in mind, but I'm gonna show you what I have and then I'm gonna let you guys guess. I'm gonna let you guess what um, what the theme of this tablescape is going to be. Okay? So here, and it's really neat that they're similar to these are the acrylic, um, what do they call them? Reef acrylic chargers. I got them in a beautiful, vibrant pink. Nothing says summer like a vibrant pink. So I got a set of those. I think Bobby Lee sent me 10 of those. Okay, and then guys, I'm, I'm so loving all of the faux um, cutlery and stemware and stuff that they have. So I got the gold, the beautiful gold, and then look at the detail in here. Absolutely stunning. And again, if you watched my tribute to mom video, um, I styled with these particular pieces. And I'm gonna be styling the other tablescape with them as well. I got the spoons, I got the forks, and I got the knives. I just, you guys, the detail, I don't know which one is, but it's so realistic. They look like real dishes, so I got those. And then um, they also sent me some table linens, but I'm not gonna show you guys that. But I have these beautiful um, Robin's Egg Blue napkins, okay? So I'm kind of torn if I wanna break the items up that they sent me and create more than one tablescape, or, put them all together and create a fabulous tablescape out of the items because I purchased them or I chose them with the mindset of one fabulous tablescape. That might not happen. So let me know if you want to see one or if you want to see two different tablescapes um, from CB Linens. If I didn't mention the company that I have partnered with, it is CB Linens. So I'm excited to bring you guys the new content from them. And then my last item, you guys, I'm going to have to pick this bad boy up. So beautiful, so, so beautiful. It's this. I'm gonna go all the way across, so bye. Look at the detail, look at, look at how the beauty. Look, look, look. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I saw her in Burlington. I love the colors, you guys. Can you see that? Did I show you that? I, give the, I don't think the camera is really doing it any justice, y'all. Look at the beating, the detail in this. Stunning. But yeah, she's from Burlington, okay? It is a, I believe it's a 48 by 48 um, canvas print. So pretty. And I'm, my mindset is to put her right here, actually. <laughs> That's where she's, I think it's gonna be her new home. It's up on this wall. So I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me see if I can bring y'all in closer. Cause y'all, you, you need to understand the gorgeousness of this. Look at that. Let's see, I'm gonna act like a cameraman. How about that? Yeah, she's fabulous. All of the beading, it's just its just encrusted in all of these nice little rhymes. That's not rhinestones, they look more like, I don't know, they're iridescent. So when you look at them in certain light and they give off like this really pretty 
shimmer and they just marry really well with my fabulous Z Gallery pillow. So yes, I will be bringing a, um, a living room update as well. Y'all, I'm just really doing the most today, right? Um, this is raw and uncut. <laughs> it's what is what it is. But yeah, she's fabulous. So that is it, everybody. I think that this video is probably going to be about... I'm going to probably have to cut or edit something. I don't know. But anywho, it's been Trevina with TMB Designs. And so if you see what you like and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and join the TMB family. I promise to bring you wonderful content. All things lifestyle, home staging, room decor... DIYs, entertaining, entertaining um, info, cleaning hacks, and cleaning videos, and so much more. Thank you very much. Smooches.